Happy Monday, everyone. Uh, welcome to week number two of Honors 125, the Honors First Year Seminar. This quick video is just going to sort of set up what we're doing for the next week and a little bit of reflecting on what we did last week. So, uh, you know, last week mostly was about getting to know each other and getting to know the course. And also I asked a pretty pointed question, which was, uh, what do you believe the qualities of an honor student are? And I think most of you really responded in the same vein, that an honor student is someone who consistently thrives uh, in an academic environment and somebody who consistently wants to go above and beyond the call of duty. And I think that that's absolutely the truth. Uh, but a word that I'd like to introduce to you is engaged. Uh, and I think that that's really important. A lot of times we can fixate too much on uh, the grades while we're in school and what those grades signify about us. But I think that one of the things that I really want to do uh, with the honors program, one of the things that I'm, I'm hoping to inspire in you and uh, help you with is I want you to be engaged. I want you to ask questions. I want you to identify problems. I want you to solve problems. Uh, I want you to go out into the community and lend a hand. Uh, and so one of the things that I want us to do is I want us to really think about um, what that word honors really means and what it has has meant in the past. And so uh, in part, that's why I had you read this article um, for uh, this coming week that's called School Versus Education. And I hope that you'll find it insightful because in some ways, I, I think it's a really important distinction to make. And so I like to think in some ways that our honors program is predicated on uh, the fundamentals of education and not necessarily on the fundamentals of schooling. Uh, for some of you, it's going to feel kind of uncomfortable to have as much uh, freedom as you will in the honors program, but I think that that really uh, is the, the hallmark of what this program is all about. I want you to be able to uh, follow your passions and your ideas. I want you to ask questions and do experiments and go out into the world and meet people because I really think it's in those moments uh, that we become educated. And I think that sometimes the missions of schooling and education are counter to each other. And so I just want you to reflect on that and to think about what this essay is telling us. Uh, and I want you to think about how that informs, you know, some of the ways you're thinking about being an honors student. So uh, this week is sort of a meta discussion, uh, but it kind of gets us thinking about, you know, we think of uh, school and degrees and the college experience as a sort of uh, finite time in our lives where we begin uh, at one point and end at another point. And I really want you to start thinking about in that finite period of schooling, if you will, what are you going to get out of this? Uh, so what do you plan to do? What are your goals? How will you know when you've been successful? Uh, what are the things and the experiences that you want to have? Um, and I think that that'll be really uh, helpful for us as we start to plan what the honors program is going to look like for you. Uh, because at the end of the day, this is your program, and I want you to get out of it whatever makes the most sense for you. And so uh, that might sound a little bit like freeform jazz odyssey, where we just kind of, you know, s sing kumbaya. But uh, it's not. It's more than that. It's it's a place and it's a time for you uh, to really be introspective about what you hope to get out of this, because this is a, a really important time. Um, and so that's what we're really looking at for this week. Uh, is is to reflect closely on that essay and to hear what our classmates have to say about that essay as well. Um, and then the other thing that I want to just get on your radar is that I'm going to have you complete an academic success plan. And that academic success plan is is an assignment, yes, but it's also a chance for you just to uh, get credit for and have the opportunity to do some intense thinking about uh, your time here at KVCC. So in that, I'm going to ask that you set a series of goals that you take a look at your strengths and weaknesses and most importantly come up with strategies and resources to overcome those weaknesses. And then I also want you to do some forecasting to think about where you're going to be in a few years. Uh, and I think that's an important moment here at the beginning of the honors program because in some ways those, those questions that you answer for your uh, academic success plan will really, I think, be a, a guiding uh, mechanism for what we do in the honors program. So maybe we use the honors program to intentionally and specifically check off boxes on your list of goals. And that's obviously a really noble goal of the honors program. But maybe in some ways the honors program becomes a way for you to uh, work on your weaknesses. So maybe we try to develop experiences or projects where uh, you are intentionally trying to test yourself. Uh, and obviously at the end of the day I hope that the honors program um, is a way for you to reach those long-term goals that you have of veterinary school, of a master's in public health, of working in communication, of doing really meaningful work in sustainable agriculture, whatever it is, uh, anthropology. You guys have some really great goals. I want you to tell me very specifically and concretely where you hope to be because 
Uh, I think it's so important to have those concrete goals because then we can start to investigate in the context of this class uh, what it's going to take to reach those goals. So uh, this is a week of introspection. It's a week of uh, forecasting. It's a week of really thinking about what our goals are. But it's also a way of, uh, of asking uh, sort of a broader question. Uh, and that is, what, why are we here? What's the purpose of this time that we're going to spend together? And I know that sounds like a really meta discussion. Uh, but I do think it's really important because to me, education is about more than just the classes. It's about the experiences. It's about the people that you meet. It's about the places that you go, the questions that you ask. It's more than just the schedule and the financial aid and all of those mechanisms. Uh, it's something much bigger than that, and I think uh, this week we'll have a chance to really think about what that means for each of us, because we're all here with um, a different set of experiences uh, and a different set of goals, but we're all here for the same sort of reason, and that is to excel uh, and, and to do the best work that we possibly can. So I appreciate you taking the uh, 5 minutes and 53 seconds it took to record this. Uh, and please let me know if you need anything at all. Uh, as I've tried to impress upon you, I'm always around. I'm always available. You should have my cell phone number. Uh, definitely have my email address. So let me know if you need any help. Um, and just be really, and spend this week in, in thought about, uh, you know, what you plan to do and uh, what it's going to take to get there. Okay, thanks a lot.